Hey everyone, welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm sharing with you three of my most favorite pumpkin desserts. So I'm Kristen, I am the second sister from SixSisterStuff.com and today I'm sharing with you three delicious pumpkin desserts that are so easy to make that everyone will think that you spent a lot of time and effort making them when really they are all so simple. Now if you're new, make sure you subscribe to our channel and then push that little bell to get all the notifications every time I post something to YouTube. All right, you guys, let's head on to the kitchen and make these three easy pumpkin desserts. So I'm making my pumpkin pie filling and I've got a large glass bowl and the first ingredient is one 15 ounce can of pure pumpkin puree. The next ingredient is a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Now I'm adding 1 4th cup of light brown sugar, 2 large eggs, as well as 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now for the spices, I'm adding 1 and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, 2 teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, and 1 4th teaspoon of salt. Then I'm just going to mix this together until everything is well combined and the filling is smooth. Now that our filling is done, we can pour it into our pie crust. I'm just using a nine inch store-bought pie crust, but if you have a homemade pie crust that you love, it would work great for this recipe. And then I just put the pie on a large baking sheet and I've cut a few strips of foil that I'm loosely covering the crust with. I don't want my crust to be burned and so I put this on in the beginning to kind of cover it so it cooks a little slower than the rest of the pie and then I'll take it off towards the end so the crust gets nice and golden. But you could put it on halfway through if you feel like your crust is too dark. Then you put it in the oven at 425 degrees for about 15 minutes. Then reduce the oven temperature to 350 and bake for 35 to 40 more minutes until it's done. Serve with a little whipped cream and enjoy. So first you're gonna crack your eggs and put four of them into a bowl. Then add one and two thirds cup of sugar. Next you're going to add one cup of vegetable oil. Then a smaller can of pumpkin. So this comes in two sizes, the big can, the smaller can. You're gonna add the smaller can, which is about 15 ounces. And just put that all in with the rest of it. Then mix it really well. So then you're gonna add your two cups of flour and two teaspoons of baking powder. Now these are your ing dry ingredients. You can sift them all together, but I just throw them in. And then just one teaspoon of baking soda. Then I have my cinnamon, so it's two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and then just one teaspoon of salt. You don't have to use the whole teaspoon. I did about half a teaspoon. Then mix it really well. Then I have a nine by 13 pan that I'm gonna spray with cooking spray and then just dump your batter into the pan. Then spread it around so it's pretty even. And then you're gonna stick it in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Once you're all done baking it, you're gonna take the other end of a wooden spoon or a fork and poke holes in it. I like the bigger holes because then when I drizzle my caramel on top, um, it seeps into this cake a little bit better. Then spread the caramel around the best you can, getting it into the little holes. Now let's make the frosting. So I have a container of Cool Whip, and I use the whole entire container. Next I use cream cheese. I use not the fat-free kind because it mixes a little bit better. Then just add two cups of powdered sugar and mix it with your beaters. Mix it for about two minutes till it's nice and smooth. Then you're just going to put it on top. You want to make sure that your cake is pretty much cooled when you do this or else it will melt down into the holes with the caramel. 
and then just spread it around the best that you can. Then I like to put crushed pecans on top along with a little caramel drizzle as you're serving each individual piece. Let's get started. The first ingredient you'll need is a spice cake mix. To that, you'll add one 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree and then stir it until it's pretty much smooth. Refrigerate this mixture for about 30 minutes until it sets up a little bit and it's easier to roll. From there, spray a mini muffin tin with cooking spray or olive oil and then take about a one inch ball and roll it in melted butter until your muffin tin is totally full. Bake these at 350 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes or until a toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. They should easily pop out of the muffin tin with a fork or a spoon. Then we like to top them with powdered sugar. Alright you guys, thanks so much for joining us today. Now if you want to see more pumpkin recipes, make sure you comment below or comment your most favorite pumpkin recipe. Alright, we'll see you guys later. Bye!